and welcome to explanation so in last video we covered topic 3.1 that is characteristic keywords and data types so in this video i'll try to cover 3.2 and 3.3 and later i'll cover 3.4 okay so 3.2 and 3.3 they are very important as a two to four marks question can be asked from this topic as well as the concept of these two topics are important for your programming skill okay so this is let's start with our topic so first topic that we are going to study is constant okay so what is a constant so a constant is a quantity that doesn't change okay in c programming during execution so this happened during execution so during execution if you cannot uh, change the quantity you cannot change the quantity so that is known as constant okay so you know you have known the example so if you consider a integer constant so it will be suppose 85 5 any number you take that will be integer constant similarly if you are taking a floating point or decimal number constant okay so uh, or or floating point constant okay so it can be any number like 2.5 2.6 like that if you are considering any like um, character constant okay so it can be a b c like this okay so these are constants that you, you can declare for example while doing a program if you write like this integer a b c you are considering three, three variables a b and c and if you fix the value of a as 10 here okay b as 20 here and c as 30 here so this is known as constant okay because you have fixed the val value of these variables here only okay and if you are asking from your uh, users like uh, scanf using the keyword scanf this i'll teach later so that means that this that is a variable okay so i think that's all about constant okay the second topic is variable okay so variable is a symbolic name that is used to store a data okay it is just naming for example if i tell you write a program to find the sum of two number so you need three variables here so first variable will be number as you want to add two numbers so second variable will be number two and after that you want to sum these two number and you are you will you will have to store this in some variables next will be sum okay so you can take the names of this variable as anything okay so some of you can write first variable as a second variable is b and third one can be c so c equals to a plus b okay so these names are called variables or variable is a symbolic name that is used to store a data okay so the data can be either numeric that is float integer or characters variable name can consist of later digit or underscore okay so what are the rules for naming a variable or how can like for example i told you num1 num2 sum so these are some valid names of variable so what name can you give to a variable okay so the rule is same as for that we described in uh, for identifier so if you have not watched my videos so in previous video i have explained the rules so even here also i'll be explaining the uh, rules so let me write uh, rules for you first of all let's clear the canvas okay so there are some so rules for so this one is important for exam okay so for declaring a variable there are some rules so first rule is okay so variable name variable name can only start with letter or underscore okay it can never start with any special character or any number or digit okay so keywords cannot be used okay keywords cannot be used used as variable name okay fine for example let's take example of this so if you write any variable as int a1 so this is correct but if you write int 1a this is not correct similarly here if you will give a name int if it is not correct because if is a keyword third example is white space are not allowed white space is not allowed in between okay while writing a variable white space is not allowed in between but underscore is allowed okay underscore is 
allowed. Fine. So, for example, if you are taking a variable simple interest, naming it simple interest. So, if you write it like this, simple white space interest. So, this is not correct. But you can write this as int simple underscore interest. This is correct. Okay. So, there is no space interest. Okay. So, next one is these variable names are case sensitive. Okay, so what is case sensitive? So first, in first declaration, you are writing num1, but in second, if you are using it somewhere, and if by mistake you wrote it capital num1, okay, so both these variables names are different, okay? You cannot use this as same name. Sorry for the disturbance. So both these variables are different okay this case sensitive and fifth number is you cannot use same variable number variable name for two numbers for example if i tell you write a program to add two number suppose you gave first number name as a and even second number you are giving as a only so it is not correct okay so you have to use different names for naming a two different variable fine so okay so let's go to next i think it's declaration of um, variable so for declaring a variable if you have integer if you want to take integer type of variable so it can declare it like this if you want even you can declare any two variable like by using a comma next is you can declare a full float variable like this you can declare a character variable like this okay so and you have to give the same value for example n1 can store value of integer float can store a value of floating point number character can store a value of character fine so these are some of the declaration of variables i hope you got what is variable so next topic let's quickly cover okay so next topic that is i think topic number third so it is Preprocessor directive. Okay, so what is preprocessor directive? So this is, you know, it is a special statement we can say, a special statement that starts with has. Okay, that are that are executed at the beginning of a compilation process okay so these type of preprocessor directives they are always placed they are always placed before main function okay so if while writing c program so if you uh, i'll tell you the code of c program later so while writing c program wherever you write this has include studio dot h okay so this is known as preprocessor directive okay so this is preprocessor directive they all begin with the has has include is a preprocessor directive like that if you write has define so this is another preprocessor directive okay has if it is another preprocessor directive so this is preprocessor directive and this is followed by header file or you can define the value of anything like pi equals to 3 like this has defined pi 3.14 it means that we are defining the value of pi as 3.14 so this is also a preprocessor directive fine so this question can be asked for two marks you have to write the same thing now let's uh, next thing let's see Okay, so fourth thing we have to study is escape sequence. Okay, so a tricky question can be asked from this topic. So escape sequence, these are nothing as the name tells it is escape. It means that they are non-printing, non-printing characters. So these characters, as we know that anything we write inside printer, this is a printing statement. So suppose if you write hello world okay world dot 
inside this double quote in a printf statement so same thing will be printed hello world dot okay but if you are using escape sequence inside this printf inside this double quote it is not it is it is not going to be printed okay they are non printing characters okay so all these escape sequence they are followed by followed by a backslash okay this is called backslash so if you tell me okay so what are the examples of this what are the examples of this so for example slash and they are used for new line slash t they are used for tab suppose if you write here hello slash and world so it prints hello and world will be after in a new line okay so this slash n is not going to be printed that why that's why it is called non printing character or escape sequence okay similarly if you write so it is going to print double quote okay so like this we can uh, use escape sequence so we have a number of escape sequence for example as i told you three escape sequence slash n slash t double quote similarly this can be used for q u o t single quote similarly slash a this can be used for alert purpose slash b this can be used for backspace for deleting purpose similarly slash f this can be used from form feed similarly slash r this can be used for carriage return similarly slash v this can be used for vertical tab slash t this can be used for horizontal tab okay slash 0 for null character fine so all these will be using in future okay like slash n slash t slash 0 slash v so while doing program will be explaining all this because it's not possible to explain these all by you uh, doing a, a one by one 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 program it will be in the video so these all things will be using in future just remember these are called escape sequences fine so one example i'll be giving you okay one example i'll be giving you that is very important example so sometimes they ask this in exam but it's a confusing thing so know this for example if someone tells you write a program to print hello as it is like even this double quote should get printed okay but we know that if you write a program like this has include stdio dot h Uh, void main. Okay, so we'll tell. Okay, ma'am, we'll we are going to write it like this. Printer. Hello. Okay, so this is just going to print you hello. Okay, even if you use double quote here, double quote quote here, it is not going to print hello with double quote. It is just going to print hello. So what you need to do is, you need to print it like this. as i told you using escape sequence so slash double quote hello slash double quote okay so as i told you this is going to print double quote after slash if you use double quote it is used to, it is going to print double quote as it is and one double quote pair for your printf statement so this is going to give you hello with a double quote fine so I, this is a very important concept okay so anyone if ask you so just give this uh, program next is i think last topic for today this is last topic for today so it will be fifth number which is symbolic constant okay so what is a symbolic constant so it is a name that is used in place of a sequence of character okay so let me explain this with a syntax because you are not going to understand this statement so it is like the syntax is has define 
name and value so let me explain this so for example if i give you a program such that you have to use the value of pi as 3.14 everywhere in more than five or six places so everywhere you are going to define and this pi everywhere going to define and you are going to write 3.14 3.14 so you want to define this value of pi you know before main function only okay so this is a type of preprocessor directive but symbolic constant means you are going to fix the value of something for example if i write here has define pi 3.14 so what is it is going to do it is you going to fix the value of this pi variable as 3.14 so in main program wherever you write this pi it is going to be considered as 3.14 so like this you can fix the value of any variable okay so it should be in beginning of the program that is uh, before the main function fine so i hope you so even this one you are going to use in your program okay so last topic is there so sorry as i told you that this is last topic so a small topic is that okay so it's just for your knowledge because in viva questions they are going to ask you what is this so if they ask you what are tokens in c okay what are variance what are various tokens in c this is a viva question okay so various uh, tokens in c are keywords keywords are called token constant are called token identifier are called token string are called token operators are called token and special symbol okay these are called tokens these are tokens okay so basically uh, for example i think you know all these things what is keyword what is constant identifier string operators plus minus special symbols i discussed in previous videos so these are some tokens in c so if anyone asks me in viva just tell them okay so next uh, in next video we will be covering operators which is very 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 important so it is going to be lengthy video after that we will start our programming okay so till then stay safe and stay healthy thank you